Like, what? He was blinded by Kefkov. I'm finally free. Thanks for all the help, Tim. Don't worry. Me? I couldn't have done this without you. I'm so happy for you, Pikachu. Oh, sorry, Luxray. This human is my partner, Tim. What's Luxray saying? He says, thank you for checking up on my dear. Any day of the week. God, oh, that reminds me. Can you tell Luxray to please thank Indeedy for treating my DNS wounds? Sure. Anyway, Tim, about Jessica. That's right, she's been targeted by the... Unitas organization, or... I forgot how I pronounced it already. Hey, Rachel, can I ask you about Jessica? I just can't believe anyone would want to target her. Jessica knows both your family and Murloc, doesn't she? Yeah, she worked at the research facility with my mother. I didn't realize Murloc worked with them, too. Jessica really respected my mother. She often came to visit our house. That's how we became friends. Maybe Jessica knows something and that they want to silence her. Jessica said she lives in Bamboo Burrow now. Yeah, didn't she say she works at the pizza place? In that case, Unitas might show up at the Bamboo Burrow next. We better go to Bamboo Burrow ourselves then. I'm going to. I'm worried about Jessica. You don't mind, do you, Tim? Never! I never mind. No, it's fine. Like saying no would have stopped her. That's also the reason that I said, yeah, I don't mind. Because even if I did mind, it wouldn't have stopped her anyway. Should we go right away? I'd like to, but there are still some loose ends we've got to tie up around this case. Like giving your report to Holiday, for starters. Let's head out tomorrow morning. Okay. Rachel, we're planning to go tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll, I better get ready. Then it's settled. Tomorrow we're off to Bamboo Burrow. And then Unitas goes today. <laughs> Dude, the day just started. What do you mean? Later that evening at Tim's apartment. I hate my chair right now. Are you okay, Pikachu? You sure went through a lot. Yeah, that cube thing was awful. I w wouldn't wish that on anyone. It was like all the colors disappeared before my eyes. And, it's, and all the sounds and smells faded away too. Pretty soon, even my own thoughts vanished. And before I knew it... I was under someone else's control. That's horrible. How? Who would make a thing like that? Murloc! We just gotta keep working this case. If we're persistent enough, we're bound to find the bad guy. Well, one thing we know for sure is the name of the group that was giving orders to Butler, Unitas. Yeah, Butler's motives was purely financial. He's not the one pulling the strings. Seems like this Unitas organization is behind all of these cases so far. But why would Unitas even... Want to kidnap Pokemon? That's the question, alright. I sense something really dark behind all this. As for Unitas' next goal. Remember that photo I found in Butler's office? The one of Jessica Wright, Rachel's friend. Between the circle on that photo and the note I found, I think we can be sure that Unitas was ordering Butler to find Jessica. Yeah, but why would they target her? I don't know what they want from her, but... Keep in mind that we're dealing with an organization that's willing to kidnap Pokemon. We better hurry and make sure Jessica's safe. Safe? Safe? Safe! Right. Oh, by the way, Tim, isn't it about dinner time? Oh, I totally forgot. So, you'll take care of dinner tonight? Excuse me, what? Yeah, no problem. Excuse me, what? It won't be anything special, though. We're eating pasta, boys! We're eating pasta! Oh, I still need to get Sophia. Nobody cares. We're eating pasta. Excuse me, the fuck? Oh, hey, Irene! You dropped your ring! <clears throat> right, she can't understand me. Oh, well. This is Harry's ring. <laughs> oh, God, flashbacks again! Oh, God, flashbacks again! I don't get this though. I mean, it's just a flashback. Like, why does it have to be so fucking dramatic? It's just a fucking flashback. Come on, dude. It's just a flashback. There's no need for this. It's done. Was it the right choice? I did what's best for my family. Me? Oi, that sounded familiar. Makes me the bad guy. If I told her the truth, Irene, 
She never agreed to a divorce. <laughs> You're the only one I can confide in, Pikachu. Pika Vega. Wait, is that her? This was his ring. When your father left, he didn't take it with him. Is that Otani? Are you getting a divorce? No way! Don't worry. We're not. Oh, okay. God. He said that's what he wanted. But it's not. Prick was lying. But when he said it, he couldn't bring himself to look me in the eye. Which means that is not what he wanted. He always does that when he's hiding something. I'm sure he got involved in some sort of incident. So he pushed us away to make sure his family stayed clear of any danger. Mom. That makes sense. It but that like Unitas has their next target. Unitas. Rachel's friend, Jessica. Tomorrow, we'll go to Bamboo Burrow. And make sure Jessica is safe. And if she has any information about Unitas, that'll get us closer to solving this case. That sounded like, you know, the the voice actor for, uh, for Pikachu in the anime. The... EQ Otani. That's what it sounded like. Alrighty then, time for the next chapter. We finally beat it! Oh, that chapter was so goddamn long! <laughs> it was so long! Mm -hmm. Your morning, Peach, how'd you sleep? Like a log, nothing quite like... Sleeping in a, your own bed, waking up in the... F in it feel it just feels different. Especially when you're coming from a bed that... At the police station, it was like sleeping on rocks. I've worried about you and after you fainted again yesterday, how are you feeling? Don't waste your worries on me. I feel great. In that case, I guess you'll be able to come along to Bamboo Burrow and look for Jessica. Yep, butlers in custody, that, but that doesn't mean Jessica's safe. Agreed. Better check on her ASAP, make sure she's okay. And that photo, I'd like to know more about what was going on when it was taken. I guess we're reaching the end game, kind of. Because now Jessica might fill in the blanks for us. And then we need to have the final chapter be the one to put it all together. We we'll have to ask Jessica how she keeps, how she knows the people in it, right? Now we're thinking like detectives. I am a detective. Well, time to get moving. Let's go. Right. It was quite startling when Pikachu fainted last night. I suppose it's understandable considering he was being held at the police station. But the same thing happened during dinner the other day too. I think the two of you may be pushing yourselves a bit too hard. Why don't you take a rest today? Rest. I wish we could, but there's still a lot to investigate. We could just raring to go, too. Why don't you take it easy until lunch, then? Thanks, but we're already getting a late start. We really gotta head out. Of course you do. Sorry. We'll see you later. Yep. I got a cutscene again with How you. How did you like the coffee I made? Horrible. Well, uh, let me see. Horrible. You made that coffee? Horrible. Thanks, Sophia. Horrible. She had her heart set on making coffee for Pikachu and was practicing it all day. Horrible. You were pretty worried about him, huh? What's well, up with you? Of course you? I was worried. Pikachu is family. What is up with you? You Thanks, Sophia. The one that thing was I the best coffee I've ever had. <sighs> no, it wasn't. You're lying. Yep. Was the coffee good, Pikachu? It tasted fantastic, Sophia. I mean, how could it not after you made it just for me? I think Pikachu really appreciated that, Sophie. I feel like she might also be able to understand Pikachu. It's the morning paper. I forgot to read the papers last time. It's the morning paper. Guess I'll give it a quick read. Even the smallest article can offer vital info. Mm -hmm. It's an article about Chief Butler. You mean former Chief Butler. He captured innocent Pokemon and exchanged them for money. There's no way he's keeping his style after that. 
Seems like all the Pokemon being detained at the police station were able to return to their homes. And the police are search searching for the Pokemon that were sent to Unitas. Un Unitas. I'm just gonna call him Unitas. Looks like Brad's team is handling that. It's the least that they can do after they went around arresting all of us innocent Pokemon. <laughs> it's an article about the Gossifler Choir concert. That's the group you saved from this banding, right? I don't know if I'd go that far. Still, I didn't expect to see them in the newspaper. They're a bigger deal than I thought. It says here their concert tickets tend to sell out fast. Guess it's a good thing we managed to find them all. Yep. Looks like they made it to the next stop on their tour, no problem. Let's let's go see them next time they're in Rhyme City. Sounds good to me. We should check out... Uh, sure, check out their schedule, I guess. It's an interview with the top-rated chef in Rhyme City. Oh, hey, I see them on TV all the time. I think their catchphrase is something like, Heat is paramount when it comes to cooking. They sound pretty fired up about cooking heat in this interview, too. According to them, a flame as fervent, fierce, and focused as a pignite produces the ideal cooking heat. Huh? Kind of surprised they'd use pignite as the standard. There's gotta be lots of other Pokemon that can create strong fla stronger flames than pignite, right? Maybe if the flame is too strong, the fruit just burns to a crisp. I see. Guess that's m there's more cooking than I realized. I wonder how that related to the case we did. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm just get, uh, glad these. There are people out there doing this kind of research. What does Furred's body end? Where does Furred's body end and its tail begin? Seems like a res like the research involved in this debate couldn't reach a conclusion. The topic come up a few times before, right? But no one's been able to find a real answer. See, no one has the, that problem when they look at me. My body's here, my tail's back here. Easy. For it though, that's a completely different story. It's not a great detective like me could get to the bottom of that mystery. What's this photo? Did someone throw paint all over the wa wall? Oh, that's Rhyme City's newest tourist spot. Originally it was just a, the product of some Apon playing pranks. There was some debate about whether the walls should be repainted, but now it is it apparently considered a popular piece of modern art. A Pokemon prank turned modern art, huh? The world really is full of surprises. Do you think that Apom could have been trying to make art on purpose? I doubt it. We should ask them next time we see him. Ah, Taylo. I wonder what happened to that Taylo. Is that the one you met while I was detained? If it ended up uh, living near Found Plaza, I'm sure it'll eventually stop feeling homesick. That place got lots of food traffic, you know? Yeah. I always see people and Pokemon there. During the colder months, Talos fly south to live where it's warmer. That Talos will probably do the same eventually. I hope it enjoys its time here until then. And then... Fuck off, chair! Shut up! I don't have another chair that I can sit on. Hey. I only have one of you. The other one's already broken. But I have it in case other people want to sit. But it's... It's broken as in it's like all the way down and it can't be pushed up anymore. Crosswords, dear, this ceramic Pokemon has a beautiful flower blooming on his head. It's Lilligant. Sure it sounds like sure sounds like Lilligant to me. This Pokemon has a fluffy fur around his neck, loves to stay clean. Del Caddy. Sounds like the Pokemon I see by the police station sometimes. I'll go with Atena. We didn't even find those answers together this time, Pikachu, but you still got them all right. Nice going. Today's clues were all about Pokemon that live in Rhyme City, right? As a detective, you gotta make sure I... I gotta make sure I know who my neighbors are. And that's it. <laughs> Before we head out. Doing a report on the, ca on the case involving Butler. This is GNN News. Hey, beautiful! Will Butler, chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau, was arrested for kidnapping Pokemon. While Mr. Butler has largely admitted to the charges, he has also suggested that he had an accomplice. The Rhyme City Police are now searching for any Pokémon that are still missing. In a statement, Mayor Myers said he is taking this incident very seriously and that the organization will undergo a complete reform. Mayor's got his work cut out for him. Cleaning up after that piece of work. Well, 
He did create the PPB. For evil reasons, maybe. I know. Also, that woman looks like Mary Jane Watson. You can't tell me she doesn't. Not the not the one from like the Spider Man game, Spider Man Two that I think is uploading. Yeah, it should be uploading at the same time as this, which looks horrifying, by the way. Oh my god, that looks horrifying. Oh, I saw an image of Mary Jane, and I was like, oh look. They put Mary Jane's mother in the game. How nice. We finally get to see Mary Jane's mother. Because, I don't know, she ran out or something like that. Whatever. I don't know the story. I don't remember the story anymore. But I know her dad's abusive. But it's like... And then I saw a lot of people in the comments being like, that's Mary Jane. I was like, no. That can't be Mary Jane. That looks like her mother. Looks like a 50-year-old woman. Hopefully this means people will stop detaining innocent Pokemon now. Probably, yeah. But that still leaves Unitas as uh, the organization Butler was working with. Not to mention those cube devices. I think it'll be a while till we solve we can solve those mysteries. Until then, we have to do what we can to stop Unitas from causing any more harm. My thoughts exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Pikachu. Right. See ya, family. Bye. Mom, I want a divorce. What? Dude, you're just doing the same thing that dad does. Yes, but I'm working a difficult case. <laughs> Memories of the bamboo forest. I thought it was Burrow. Oh my god, what? We got to... Are we in Jubilee Village? <laughs> Alright, then let's find Jessica. Yeah, we need to make sure Unitas or... That Unitas organization isn't after her. Unitas. Guess we don't have time for any sightseeing while we're here. Jessica should work at the pizzeria. Let's go there first if, to see if she's around. Right. This chair is pissing me off, by the way. And I don't even know where it comes from. Like, where does this come from? Probably happened because I put my dog on me. Oh my god, like Larry and Meowth? What the fuck are you doing here? Savage Vagabond. Vagabond. Sorry. There's no you in there. This is a Meowth, right? Yeah, it's a Steel-type Meowth. I take it you're not from around these parts, Meowth. Where'd you come from, buddy? What? You're friends with Darmanitan and Ice Q? You mean the Darmanitan and Ice Q from the ruins? What are you doing all here? All by yourself? So your friends got captured and you followed them, only to lose track of them along the way. You like it here because Jessica feeds you? And there are others you can test your strength against. The obbies are eating and battling, huh? I hope we can help this Meowth to see Darmanit and his friends. They should still be at the Sun and Ruins with Gorondon. You must want to see Darmanit and the gang, huh, Meowth? You do? Then let me tell you how to get to the Sun and Ruins. You don't want to go until you've battled and defeated the strongest bowman in the Bamboo Forest? But you haven't won yet, so you want to beat that Pokemon before you leave? Just be careful, Pikachu. Sounds like there's a really strong Pokemon out there. And you are not. Yes. We need to find Jessica. Ah, Blossom. Split evolution of gloom. Dancer in full bloom. You're playing a game with that old man? Sounds fun. Heracross! A huge fan! Huge fan! If I do say so myself, throws foes with this hefty horn. Huge fan! If I do say so myself, how you doing, my boy? And Vikavolt, I kind of like you. I love your design. I think it is one of the most top-tier designs I've ever seen. Why are you so slow? Why the fuck are you so goddamn slow? Like... Vikavolt, you have a 43 base speed stat. 43! The fuck is wrong with you? It's stated in Pokedex entries that you're displaying exceptional mobility. It weaves between trees and shoots down bird bone with its electromagnetic beams. It zips around on sharp lookout for an opening.
You are so slow. What do you mean? You have exceptional mobility. Looks like... It looks threatening. Let's stay out of its way. What do I do? You won't listen to me at all. Seems like something's up. Is there some, anything wrong? As you can see, my Vikafold is about to start a fight with Heracross. Clamps foes between his massive mandibles. Vika Vika. Oh, Vika Vika. Hera. You're right. A uh, fight's about to break out if it... At any moment, actually, I've heard that these two Pokemon have a history of being rivals. Where? Where the fuck have you heard that? That is not in the Pokedex entry for Vikavolt at all. Let's see here. Hera... I thought Heracross was rivals with Pinsir. What the fuck do you mean he's rivals with a Vikavolt? Can you go to Gen 7 onwards? Oh, here. There's an Ultra Sun. Or in Sun and Moon, maybe. Oh, it has a Pokedex entry in Sun and Moon. It's proud of its thick horn. In Alola, its biggest rival is Vikavolt, which it's always fighting with. I walk, uh, I was on a walk with Vikavolt, and then he bumped the air across. And that's when he lost his temper, huh? I wonder if there's some way to we could stop them. They're powerful Pokemon, so it'd be tough to stop them with brute force. Let's find a Pokemon that could help them calm down. Yeah. 